Well, as Netflix transitions from DVDs to streaming, a company called OnLive is trying to do the same thing for video games. Streaming games means getting rid of the console, and that could mean big changes for the digital living room. Joining us is Steve Perlman, the founder and CEO of OnLive. Steve, welcome to Bloomberg West. Great to be here. And you brought a prop, and we'll get to it in just a uh -huh, second. Sure. But let's just talk about the fact that there's a difference between what a 15-year-old is doing in the living room and a 65-year-old. And you've, yes. been, you've been thinking about this basically for 30 years. Uh, yes, I see you're revealing my age here, but that's all right. Uh, it's, it's absolutely the case. And it's, it, the other thing that's really uh, different about the world today than, say, 30 years ago, is you got one 15-year-old doing something completely different than another 15-year-old right. and so on. There's never been more choice and control, and there's never been more options. And the other thing that's interesting about the 15-year-old and increasingly, strikingly, the 65-year-olds who now have their iPads or their tablets or what have you, is that when they're watching TV, it's usually not just the TV, there's another device with them. They're following sports scores, they're maybe looking up something about the actors, what have you. So the living room experience is nothing like it was 30 years ago. Now, you guys are, are uh, doing things specifically with games in that universe. Is that because games are the natural target for this or because it's sort of the easiest use of the technology? The reason we tackled games is because, number one, it's the big unsolved problem. I mean, you can stream a movie, you can stream music, you can actually easily distribute comp, you know, uh, images and so forth. But a video game, well, that's a different thing. You need a, a device that's local to where you're playing it. And the performance of that device, of course, you know, uh, gets more and more obsolete as time goes on, right? And so, for example, the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, these are 2005 technologies, and they're getting long in the tooth. And so, Typically, people go and buy new devices. But with streaming media, like with television, you never have an obsolescence of television, really, or very rarely you go from standard definition to HDTV. So what we've done with games is we've taken games from a type of software that needs a special device into a form of streaming media that runs on anything, and there's no obsolescence. But how many products or services are we going to see until we know this is the right fit? I mean, you've been through behind so many innovations. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Web TV is something that you sold to Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Mixed views on that, you know, mm -hmm. 10 years later, whatever. But mm -hmm. what do you think? Well, the main thing that Microsoft did with Web TV is, of course, it, it uh, was all of their television efforts grew out of the team that we built in Silicon Valley, including, for example, the Xbox 360, yep. U-verse is uh, based on that technology, et cetera. So I think you have to distinguish between the pr product and the technology. It was the beginning of things. With OnLive, it's a little different. I mean, OnLive is a whole new way of looking at media distribution, and it's the grand unifier. Um, a lot of things that um, you know we've, we've heard about, things like, uh, HBO Go and so forth yep. that work on different devices. We um, online will make it so that one version of that will work across all devices. Steve, great perspectives. It's good of you to join us, and please yeah, come back you. soon, Steve Perlman of OnLive. We're coming.